Hello, this is Game Audio Toolkit, where we look at ideas, approaches and implementations specific to game audio. And this time, we're going to make the room sound a bit nicer. Canvas coffee bags sound isolation panels. These are large and heavy, so you'll need some storage. The panels will eventually go into the canvas bags. Fibers can leak through the canvas weave. Net curtain will be wrapped around the panels to prevent spread. It is light, cheap, and sound can pass through it. Work is done in the bathroom, as it's much easier to clean afterwards. The panels are larger than the canvas bags. A sharp knife cuts to 90 centimeters or 35 and a half inches long. The net curtain is 155 centimeters or 59 inches wide. It needs to wrap around once with some left over to attach it to the panel. Measuring the height of two panels and width, the net curtain will need to be about 150 centimeters or 59 inches long, same as the width. Wrapping the panel to double check those measurements. And here are the tools, duct tape and a pair of sharp scissors. Wrapping the panels might end up looking untidy. The canvas coffee bag will obscure almost all of that work. Duct tape is sparsely applied to the backside, so it won't get in the way of sound absorption. It sticks well to fabric, and applying more on the edges helps transferring everything into the canvas bag. Weighing roughly 2.5 kilograms, or 5.5 pounds, these are light enough to be held up with just two nails. Like any fabric, canvas can shed, so that's something you might want to take into account. Measuring in REW, first without any panels installed, and then measuring with four panels up. The differences at first glance aren't obvious. In the higher frequencies, however, the panels are absorbing reflection. Decay and waterfall graphs seem to show this too. It's enough to make a noticeable difference in the room, and the cost is the equivalent of three coffees, 